It has been two years since Jammu and Kashmir had amended the Article 370 via the government at the centre. What has changed on the ground? What is the status of the security? In this special telecast, I am joined by the Director General of Police of Jammu and Kashmir Police, Dilbag Singh. So thank you so much for joining us. Now, the government wants to claim that 59% uh, drop in 2020 with regard to terror incidents. 32% uh, even more with the corresponding period of 2020, that terror is down. But the fact is, sir, that the terror incidents are still on, encounters and attacks are still on. So what really has changed on the ground then? Yeah, I would agree that uh, both the statements that you made are uh, correct. Two years down the line have seen a lot of improvement in terms of security and land order situation. Definitely, definitely I say that uh, the land order incidents have come down drastically and so is the case in terms of terror violence. If you compare it with 2016 and then with 2018, you would yourself see that the incidents have come down drastically. They are just about uh, 10 to 15 percent of what it used to be during the year 2016. So lots and lots of improvement to be seen, not a single casualty. I say it with full authority in our uh, land order engagements, not a single casualty in our operations. That's a great achievement and then lots and lots of uh, cooperation from the public. That is what I've seen. And the second part of the statement, yes, that is also a fact that the terrorism is still on. We don't say that it is over now. There are lot many conspiracies taking place even today uh, from across the border uh, uh, by, by, by Pakistan and sponsored agencies. You have drone attacks taking place on airfield in Jammu. You have drones being used for transporting weapons, AK-47s and MO-07 uh, weapons, ready-made IDs, narcotics and cash from across the border. All this is happening. You have civilians being targeted without any fault on their part. You have a couple of attacks on the security forces and the policemen while they go out to their homes to see their aging parents and their families. Yes, that is happening. You have sometimes grenade attacks. But again, as I said, the terror violence overall has come down. And uh, this definitely has shown a downward trend uh, and then we are happy that uh, our uh, uh, counter terrorist operations have been very su successful. A large number of terrorist leadership, you name it, any organization, you name lashkar e -Tawba, name jaish e Muhammad, Hijbul Mujahideen, Al-Badr, all these outfits have lost their leadership, top commanders have been eliminated, uh, very huge successes have been seen in counter-terrorist uh, operations. Border management is much better, you have yes. seen that uh, despite the fact that number of attempts are being made from across to send more and more numbers of lashkar e and jaish e Muhammad, the border grid is very well in, 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 in intact and very effective we have countered many attempts made by them and we would continue to do so okay. so yes i would say while the terrorism is down the ter so sir my added question to that would be recently in the news i remember the government had of course come out with a circular that all those who have stone pelting background will not be given government jobs they will not even have their passports cleared that was a big move but will it impact the young men who are either joining militancy or the fact will it bring down stone pelting incidents on the ground in the Kashmir Valley, sir? See, uh, you have to make a difference now when when uh, a large number of people are uh, are are, are, are uh, uh, law abiding and uh, they are uh, desirous of having a lasting peace in uh, JNK duty. You can't have people uh, who who sort of uh, disturb peace here who resort to incidents of land order, who uh, while disturbing land order situation here and causing loss to the people's business, to the people's lives, still would like to enjoy everything which comes uh, uh, to a lawful citizen that cannot be allowed to happen. So therefore, yes, I said certain strictness is required and that is being done. That will continue to be done. Well, that's a fair point, sir, that ones who are inciting violence cannot really be expecting to use the same benefits that the country also offers to them. Dilbak Singh, Jammu and Kashmir, Director General of Police, thank you so much, sir, 